What's the faster quad size? A race prep 250 or a race prepped 450? Hang around and find out. Tech Talk. Hello, FPV racers. At our pile and race course, we have racers with 450s and 250s. But are they really racing on a level playing field? So we decided to do a test. We set up two types of flights. First was a speed run, and the second was an agility run. Let's take a look at our equipment. Let's look at the 450 first. The frame is a homemade FPV tree racer frame. The motor is a Sunny Sky 2212 1400 kV. Props are from HQ, they're 8x5 carbon composites. The battery is a 4S 2600 milliamp from a 30C from Glacier. The 250 has Cobra 2204 motors spinning at 2300 kV. 6x4.5 carbon composite blades from HQ Props. The battery is a 3S 1300 milliamp 30C from Glacier. Both machines are running the flight controller of KK 2.1.5 flashed with RC911 firmware. In the speed run, the 250 ran an impressive 4.6 seconds. Now, that is a race prep machine, so it should be fast. The race prep 450 did a 4.3, which is 0.3 seconds faster, or 7%. Advantage, 450. For the agility course, we set up five figure eights, all at a different distance with different entry speeds and exit speeds. Overall, the 250 is much easier to control through this most difficult pylon course set we have. We're able to brake quick and accelerate out of the turn fast. The 250 came in at 59 seconds. The 450 is really tricky to handle on this most difficult pylon set. It had a 56 second run, which was three seconds faster than the 250, or about 5%. Once again, advantage 450. In both tests, the 450 was about 5% faster than the 250. So how do we use this information? Well, everybody's machines are different. But if you're running a race course and you want a level playing field, you can create a handicap system by running a simple drag race, figure out the time difference, and use that for the handicap. Now, go light it up.